honeymoon between Todd Rage and the HDW Corporation was short-lived. The company wielded its financial investment in the station as clout to dictate on-air content. Despite having accepted thousands of dollars in fees and advertising to subsidize the station, as well as cover Mary's medical costs, Todd refused many of his only sponsor's demands. A week before Mary died, she slid into a coma at the medical center at the State College. After a week's silence, Todd then went on the air to discuss recent events and future plans. W-R-A-G Rage Radio Lasting for life with your host, Todd Rage I haven't opened up yet, but the folks at HG World really have turned the old Vance place into a virtual Garden of Eden with this huge concrete castle of well, pretty much anything you would want to rebuild here. Contractors up the mountain are already pouring money into the community, and I hear our own county commission chairman, Jake Weldon, moved his brood into the first house in what they've dubbed Vance Village. It's a big, modern, three-quarter million dollar showcase, but I'm sad to report here that Mary and I will be otherwise engaged for the home warming celebration this weekend, but... Uh, Thanks for the invitation. The world's getting weird, people. It's falling apart, at least for me. Mary likely won't be with us much longer. God bless her, she fought long and hard, and I wish I had one more day with her to tell her what in my hard, dark heart. But she slipped into a coma a few nights back, and doctors say she won't be waking up again. I'm just here to get the paperwork together and put our house in order, so to speak. Doc Wagner and I are heading back into Johnstown in a bit, but I wanted to thank everybody for their support and their love. The reason why I stayed in this community is because it has the most selfless, loyal, and caring people in the country. You folks made the last year a battle worth fighting. Before I go, I just wanted to say something to everybody. It's easy to think about this fertile valley as the whole wide world, but it ain't. My world is sleeping away the rest of her life in a bed two hours south of here, and your new world is a big shining castle on a hill with a king who promises it'll take all your cares away. Well, we're all snug in our troubled but isolated little hamlet. We got a modern-day plague sweeping through Asia. It's new. It's terrifying. These news feeds are reporting that people ain't staying dead. They get real sick, crash out, and then something restarts them, and they go all crazy, and apparently that's how it spreads. I don't know. Sounds all sci-fi to me, but... I've seen weirder things, more terrifying things rising up from rice farms and out of Kong tunnels. Sorry for rambling, but as I like to say, it's my station, at least for now, and I blame the lack of sleep for the last 72 hours. Listen, folks, just take care of each other. Sometimes enemy wears a big smile and carries a checkbook. Sometimes he looks just like you or me and preys on the things you valued most at one point in time, uses it to reach past your defenses and chew out your soul. I... I'm going to take a break. God bless all of you. Peter, if you could look after the cat, I'd appreciate it. This is Todd Rage, WRAG Radio. 10-4, good buddy. And over and out. Oh, I can't keep it in. I can't keep it in. I've got to let it out. I've got to show the world. The world's got to see.